Libras, come out to play. What's going on, my Libras? If you clicked on that thumbnail, you know where you reached. Hey, this is Readings by Marvelous Madame, and I am Marvelous Madame. What's good, my Libras? Hey, this is going to be your August 2018. Happy August, guys. How does Bay feel about you for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What's good, guys? If you are new here, hello, 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 and welcome to my channel. Thank you for giving me a chance to deliver the good word. If you are subscribed to the fam bam, ow, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate you guys, and you already know that I do. So we're going to go ahead and get right into this, guys, all right? This is that part of the program where I invite you to skip the marvelous intro and let you know that the reading is going to start at such and such, which is going to be listed or documented down or timestamp down in the description below. So if you do not want to hear my little updates and my intro, please go ahead and click there. If you uh, have been viewing, you already know how this is formatted. OK, so let's go ahead and get right into this. Um, you know that I start all of my videos out with gratitude. So I want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. I love you. I love you all from the moon and back. Thank you so much for all of your likes, your shares, you subscribing to my channel. Really, really appreciate that. Thank you for booking me for your personal readings. Thank you for putting me in your business. I really appreciate that now. OK, let's get right into it. Um, speaking of personal readings, the link for the scheduler to book me will no longer be in the description. OK, it was just link overload. I invite you guys to go and book me on any of my social medias. OK, so that's going to be Facebook, IG, Twitter and Pinterest. Yes. And Pinterest as well. Pinterest gets a lot of traction. If you, you can watch all of the videos over in Pinterest, too. So I know you guys are already be in these um, in all four of those anyway. So if you decide that you want to see what's going on with your new videos, um, and if you don't know, I haven't really been telling you guys, um, if you don't know, I post every week, okay? Typically, the top of the month is how this bay feel about you. The second week before the 15th, between the first and the 15th is the how this bay feel about you series for all 12 zodiac signs, as well as the top of the month love reading from the 15th for the from the 15th through the end of the month is going to be the mid month love reading the um, the elemental reading the general readings by element has been um, has been retired until this retrograde energy is done. OK, and I'm also doing extended bonus readings on any of those videos, just like we were last month. And it's going to be based on what needs clarity, what has the most likes, um, you know, what I feel like you guys based on your traffic and what you what you need. OK, that's how that's the schedule. All right. So with that being said, if you're out there, back to my point in any one of those Facebook, IG, Twitter and Pinterest and you're feeling like you want the good word. You want to check in with your girl M Dub and find out what is going on. You can watch everything in Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. Just not IG. IG do too much, okay? But you can book the personal reading through the Instagram page. All right. Now let's move on. In addition to that, I have added spiritual consultations as an add-on to the to the uh, personal bookings. Okay, so if you book me for a personal reading, Al, thank you for that. Um, you just indicate that you want me to do that for you. Now, what I have been doing as an added bonus is I have been taking your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, North Node, and South Node, primarily focused on those. And coming up with what's uh, what I'm calling a little spiritual prescription, which is going to get you on the right track and get you one clip clo one step closer to your destiny. OK, um, find out how you've been feeling, because if you're booking me for a personal reading, there's obviously some things that you want to know. So I'm throwing that in. So it's not priced yet. It is a add on. So if you feel like you want that when you book, go ahead and let me know. All right. You, you're not going to see. Any place on um, inside of my schedule or where you can um, 
like add that on right now. OK, so now. Um, also, let's talk about the astrology, because that is what I have been wanting to get into. And OK, so as you know, right now, guys, the following planets are still retrograde as of today. Mars, Mercury, Saturn, Neptune, Pluto and Chiron. And I forgot to talk about the Chiron transits in the last video. I apologize, Sagittarians. If you are listening, though, um, let's get into it. OK, so Venus is going to move into the sign of Libra. OK, it's ruler. OK, it rules Libra and Taurus on August the 6th. August the 11th, we're going to be experiencing the new moon slash partial solar eclipse in the sign of Leo. Set those intentions. OK, Libras. And have a good time, Libra, when Venus moves into your sign, because you're going to be looking good and feeling good. OK, enjoy that yumminess. All right. And you already know. This is uh, my chart ruler. Venus is in my um, and Venus rules my chart. And Venus is also in the seventh house, which is kind of good. Venus is in Venus. Get ugly. Now, <laughs> set those intentions on August the 11th. OK, I've already I have a video out there on setting it. If I might have to break it out and do it separate, but whatever, which will be live. But whatever. Um, also, on August the 19th, Mercury will go direct. Finally, thank God. OK. On August the 23rd, the sun will move into the sign of Virgo. Virgo, you guys are going to get your birthday reading as well. Ow. OK, happy early birthday. We're going to be entering into a beautiful Virgo season. And on 826, it's going to be a full moon in Pisces. OK, any energy, residual energy from last month's eclipse. This could be the culmination of that is going to be in dreamy Pisces. So get on your scuba gear and get ready to swim because I'm sure it is going to be a rough swim with these damn fish. OK, and last but not least, drum roll, please. Mars goes direct on August 27th and I have been waiting on this shit for months. So I am extremely excited about that. Now, the little blurb that I wanted to talk about, as you know, Chiron is a as a comet. Chiron is retrograde and a sign of Aries. What I wanted to talk to you guys about is go out. If you have your birth chart and your placements, if you're if you are familiar with that, um, I just wanted to let you know that when Chiron is in Aries, if you have any of these, um, anything within two degrees of Aries in your personal chart, you can directly be clashing with Cancers, Capricorns and Libras. OK. When when Chiron moves forward into Pisces for a short period of time, which will be happening in the next couple of months, if you have any planets within 27 degrees of Pisces, then those that transit Chiron is going to be transiting and you can be directly uh, challenged with the plant with the signs Virgo, Gemini and Sag. OK, that is the Chiron transit. Don't know whether you guys are going to be experiencing that, but I just wanted to throw that out there because some of us are feeling the direct effects of Chiron being in retro. OK, then once it moves forward in Pisces and it does its thing for that short period of time, it's going to move right back retrograde in Aries. And it's pretty much going to stay like that until 2020. So we ain't going to have to talk about that until then. OK, let's get ugly. Now, again, this is your 2018. How does Bay feel about you, Libra, for the Libra sun, moon, rise, rising and Venus? OK, um, there's going to be. A five card reading, two cards that represent the overall uh, two cards that represent the most recent past and present. The what's happening now or what just happened. One card that represents the heart of the matter or the bottom of things. Two cards that represent the overall outcome. We're going to be blending the bottom of that deck energy illuminated tarot. OK, for a more solidified message. We're going to be doing one card that represents the overall theme represented by the romance angel oracle deck. And we're going to be flipping that deck over and infusing the bottom of that deck's energy as well. OK, so Libra, let's go ahead and get started. Your card that's going to represent your August 2018. How does Bay feel about you? is 
finances and career. Okay. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. And amongst other things, Libra, because I didn't tap in and I can tell that Libra, that Venus is going to be moving in back into your sign where it's at home at babies because you guys got some stuff going on. Okay. The bottom of that deck energy, the Romance Angel Oracle deck is religious factors. Your love life is being influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So we got two different sides of the spectrum here, but we're going to tie everything together. OK, so first and foremost, finances and career, you focused on the bag. Or Bay is focused on the bag again. The energies can go both ways. All right. So this is how you guys are feeling about one another or how one is feeling about the other. Um. A lot of the times, given the nature of the Zodiac, I really pick up sometimes that it is your own energy right now um, with everything that's going on. Libra, I hate to put this out there across listeners, but I'm feeling like this is what the Libra is doing. So um, finances and career are causing a issue in your love life right now. OK, then your bay differs from what you're usually used to. I'm surprised this isn't keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ, but it's religious factors. Now, it could be exactly what the card says. Your love life is influenced by religious upbringing and spiritual path. You could have ascended to a higher level, you guys, of spiritual um, of spirituality and they ain't having it or vice versa. However, I also like to say with this card that you guys are just two totally different people raised different, look through things from a different lens and you could be clashing because of that. I also pull extra meaning out of this card because it could just be that the very thing that attracted you to this person is what's pissing you off about the person. And there is nothing wrong with that. Um, that it could be what it is. All right. So let's go ahead and get into the bottom of the deck energy, which is the six of diamonds. The six of diamonds also came out for, uh, Sagittarius. So some of you guys can definitely be connecting with Sagittarius because I see fire on the board. So Libra, you are an air sign. As you already know, diamonds is the equivalent of the suit of pentacles. Pentacles represent the element of earth. This is harmony. This is cooperation. This is sharing. This is some type of gift. You have been winding down, darlings. Sagittarians had that same card. OK, this represents uh, Virgo, Capricorn or Taurus energy. OK, you could be surrounded by having your chart. OK, or this is the energy uh, or you could be connecting with, period. OK, so you have that at the bottom of the deck. That's the only one that you have on the board. Let's get rocking. We have two hearts here. OK, two hearts. The hearts are equivalent of the suit of cups. The suit of cups represent the element of water. Libra, you guys can be connecting with energetically feeling all in your feelings or have uh, water in your chart. Cancer, Pisces and Scorpio. All right. Last but not least, Libra, um, I do see one spade. OK, spade re is equivalent is the equivalent of the suit of swords. Swords represent the element of air. So you in the reading in your element, Libra, ver uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. OK. And last but not least, we have fire. OK, we have clubs on the board. Clubs represent or is equivalent of the suit of wands. Wands represent the element of fire. As I stated, Sagittarius, Leo and Aries. OK, finances and career could be causing the problem, Libra. But what I'm saying, what I'm seeing here is the very first card out the date is out the gate is the devil. Um, some of you guys can be connecting with a Capricorn. I've already told you that there is Earth here, but um, not represented necessarily. The major arcana is the devil. It's a, in, in other words, in this particular blended deck, it is um, associated or represented by the five of clubs. OK, clubs um, being a fire card. So, again, you could be connecting with the Sagittarius, but traditionally the devil is the Capricorn card. Um, let's talk about this now. What have you been doing? First and foremost, <laughs> Libra. You guys know what you can do and what you're capable of. So somebody, somebody 
is not doing something that they're supposed to do. Cross listeners, I apologize in advance. The devil is here. This is being bound and slaved to something. This is addictions. Okay. This is addictions. This is a unhealthy, unhealthy behavior. Okay. But it is directly, directly next to the lover's card. So what does that indicate to me? Well, that indicates that somebody has been busy. Little Miss Busybody Libras, male and or females, you guys have been getting it in. Lovers is love choices, okay? And that's strong Gemini um, from a zodiac sign perspective, okay? Um, the actual major arcana both of these are major arcana so this is a divinely guided or fated event that has already taken place or will be taking place okay this is you operating in your shadow with this devil card this devil energy okay again capricorn it represents the zodiac sign of capricorn face the shadow okay in order to acknowledge the, you know, what's necessary for your spiritual transformation. But you ain't trying to hear that because that's what I would encourage you to do if you end it with the devil. But no, you've been acting like the devil. So you've already operated on your shadow side. And then the lover's card is here. OK, you have to make a choice between the low or the high road. And this represents the sign of Gemini. Also, OK. Gemini is represented by the lover's tarot card. But again, this is the six of hearts as well in this card. So let's pull out the meaning, the dual meanings here. First and foremost, let's just go ahead and get it cracking. There's conflicts and bullshit with this five of clubs. Traditionally, the five of clubs and or five of wands is conflict, quarreling or competition directly correlates back to the six. The six of hearts in this deck is the lover's card. OK, so we knew that that's Capricorn with the devil. We know that this is Gemini with the lovers. Take it one step further. The six of hearts and or six of cups is a soulmate, happiness from the past, old friends, a love revived or a reconciliation. OK, now if we stop right there, if we stop right there. I've already told you, I've already told you that something is coming up or back around from the past. Um, so lovers is here that indicates love choices of the love between two people is next to the devil. Whenever something's next to the devil, I'm sorry, I'm going to pull out the shadow. OK, I apologize. How do I know this? If we take it one step further, we got the damn three of cups in the heart of the matter. Now, that's celebratory. That is good things. That's happiness. That's celebration. But I just got through telling you the bottom of the deck energy was the six of diamonds, which is which is um, harmony. That's cooperation. But more importantly, that six of diamonds, that's a damn gift. Whining and dining and sharing. It's illustrated by a dinner card. Pass me the wine. Pass me the this. So you have been wined and dined by possibly somebody from the past, darling, or it possibly remember finances and career are playing a factor. Somebody's been getting some money from somebody. Charity, harmony, gifts, sharing, dinner, celebrations. Somebody has been being taken out by somebody from the past. There's been direct direct competition from somebody OK. That's what I'm seeing here. But then it gets tricky. It gets a little tricky because. There's the four of clubs, which is marriage, stability, marriage plans, happiness, and then it's coupled with the six of spades, which is you transforming and moving away from what no longer serves you. OK, um, leaving the sorrow and leaving your worries behind and transitioning. So is this you making the decision? Maybe. Yes. Is this you 
coming up with a new way of thinking about this situation and finally deciding that you are going to possibly tell the truth. The action here is very much so you being uh, feeling stable. OK, so we got some things that we need to pull out with this numerology. One of the things that we could have possibly had with the two sixes is obviously a choice. However, two sixes means apology. If it was the two sixes can mean it means an apology. So we know that somebody from the past came back possibly uh, for some of you. We know that this is choices that you have to make. It's next to the devil. So we're going to pull out shadow. We know that you had an option to take the high road or the low road and it don't look like it was high. OK. However, the interesting thing about triple sixes is that there's a pattern and that something is repeating itself. Some of you guys are talking about stability and getting back with this old person from the past. OK, this has possibly happened before your partner knows about it. You have to make a choice. You have not been doing something right. You're possibly talking about how this person is different. Maybe in the last six to 10 months here, possibly a year, 12. Yeah, you and the person from the past has got together and talked about the new guy. You and the person from the past has got together and talked about the new girl. OK, which isn't right. So you've been complaining about this person and you guys have been reminiscing. And at some point you decide to leave your worries behind and you are happy possibly with this person. Um, it doesn't look like you've been too focused on finances in your damn career because this person has come in and been giving you stuff. You've been wined and dined and taken all over the damn place. OK. You've been wined and dined and taken all over the place. So I suspect that this person has been helping you pay your bills. And this is what I see here. So how does Bay feel about you? Well, Libra, I feel like this is what you're doing. But cross listeners, the Libra has been whining and dining with somebody from the past and not very happy with you. Or Libra, this is what's going on behind your back. They're celebrating and going out while you sitting around. Um, they got a choice to make. One of you guys have a has a choice to make. The lovers is here with the devil. If it hasn't happened, it's about to happen. OK, that's what I see here. Not good. Not good. All right. I hate to be the one to deliver that message, Libra. But um, you're going to have Venus in your sign, so you're going to be wined and dined all over the place, honey. You better get ready. If it hasn't happened, it's coming. Okay? So, again, how does Bay feel about you? Well, they've been getting some financial assistance and possibly some other assistance from somebody else. and very upset because y'all been beefing and humbugging. You guys don't see eye to eye. You were brought up different. You are just different. The very things that you guys were attracted to in the beginning is falling apart. We'll see next week how this um, how this ends. OK, um, when I this is, hey, you, you move and transition and leave worries behind. So it doesn't look like the relationship is going to be successful. Um, but that's what's going on right now. So if it resonated, great. If it didn't let it skate, believe her that it's been your reading. I certainly and sincerely hope that it resonated. That's what I see here. Um, yeah. Wow. You guys getting money and oh, I'm, I'm too jealous. So there's going to be some gifts. Finances and career are a factor. But guess what? This new part, if, if this one person didn't have no money, this other person definitely came in and gave it to you. OK. So across the listeners, I apologize in advance. Things is not looking too hunky dory, um, but I don't see anything other than somebody did not do what they were supposed to do. And there is a third party involved. And if this lovers had been anywhere else by anything else, I wouldn't say that. But it's next to the devil. You can't get no clearer than that. So I wish that I could not have pulled out a third party, but I do. And I'm telling you in this retrograde season, this comeback season, 
So this damn lover's card came out a few times with a few different um, zodiacs. But again, Sagittarius just had this. OK, so you could again. And I've already told you that there is fire on the board. All right. So that has been your reading, Libra. I certainly hope it resonated. Go ahead. Like the content. Share it with a Libra in your life. Um, and go ahead and subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. I'll be here all week. Stay tuned with me um, at the top of next week when we go ahead and do your top of the month love reading. And I'll see you then. Bye, Libra.